In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you a very exciting tutorial on intro slide. You can use this intro slide for any kind of your presentation, be it a sports or startup or annual reports or meetings or whatever. So let me just show you a few examples of this. So when I click, you can see here, I have made this for the sports template. I have added the image of, you can see your different sports here. Then you can add some detailed text and you can add some buttons here and some additional text also you can add it here. Likewise, I have created one more where I have used this for the cricket template. You can see here uh, different images of the cricket I have used. And then I have made one more for the startup. You can see here, this is a startup template uh, with different images. So depending on your requirement, you can just change the image and change the text and use this as your intro slide. And if you're not subscribed to my channel PowerPoint University, please subscribe it now and make sure to enable the bell notification icon. You can join my Telegram group with the help of this link. And if you like to contribute to my channel, you can do it through PayPal or Patreon. The link is provided in the video description section. I have used Office 2019 version to do this. And if you're using the older version of PowerPoint and some features may not work on it. So I highly recommend you to use the latest version of PowerPoint. So let's start the tutorial. I had a new slide and I'm going to cover the whole slide with a rectangle for that go to insert shapes from the rectangles I'm going to select the first one you can just drag this from one end to other end and shape outline make it no outline let me just zoom out so that uh, I can add the lines here now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some random lines and then I'm going to make as a different shapes for that let me just go to insert shapes and again i'm going to select this rectangle draw the rectangle somewhat bigger maybe you can see this one shape out fill you can give some different color and shape outline i'm going to make it no outline and the width i'm going to make it as 0.03 you can see here something like this and then using this arrow i'm going to rotate it you can see here so first arrow uh, not the arrow the line should come something like this and then i'm just duplicating this one and you can just uh, make any random shape you want okay it's not necessary that it has to be uh, the way same way i'm trying to do anything you can just do it and then again duplicate this one and this one i'm going to start maybe from here you can see here all right and again press ctrl d this one i'm going to start from the top giving some space here you can see here let me just rotate it you can see here and then i'm going to add one more where i'm going to do it from this end you can see here something like this mm -hmm. now what we need to do, make sure is the line should touch this one you can see especially this line and this line other what happens uh, if we are trying to uh, merge the shapes or fragment that one then it will not happen properly so we have to just zoom out and we have to just make sure that it has to be you can see here i'm just going to put it properly here okay it, it is aligning or it is touching here and the same way should go for these also you can see here there's a small gap so i'm just going to select this and again i'm going to bring it down all right so you can see here i have made this shape uh, or any uh, different uh, formats you can make it not a problem then what i'm going to do is i'm going to select all by pressing ctrl a then go to the format merge shapes remember this merge shapes available only in the latest version of powerpoint powerpoint you don't find in 2007 and in 2010 in 2010 it's available but fragment is not available i believe okay so make sure you're using the latest version of powerpoint and i'm just going to click the fragment you can see here now what i'm going to do is i'm going to select this hold the shift key this one this one this this and this Control c to copy I'm going to add a new slide you can see here let me just delete this placeholder columns and control V to place it so you can see here I've got different shapes all right 
now what we need to do here is i'm going to fill this with different colors so right mouse click go to format shape and you can just fill with any color of your choice either you can give gradient fill you can see here i'm just using some dark colors here or if you want you can just use some gradient fill also let me just delete this only two stops i'm going to make it the one stop i'm going to make it some dark color and the other one i'm just going to make it somewhat a lighter color you can see here and again i'm going to give the same color here and here again you can give some different gradient fill depending on your requirement so i'm just going to choose some dark orange and a light orange color you can see here and wherever how the direction should be based on that one you can just choose it so you can see here we have filled the color now it's time to add the image on these two objects this and this so what you can do is uh, you can just download any image from unsplash.com or you can use any image which is already stored or saved on your personal pc or a laptop so what i'm going to do is i need to select this object first okay you can just select again you can go to the file and you can see here picture or texture fill just click on this and click on insert and here you have to just select from file if you are using some online pictures also you can select this one so just select from file and select the image okay so you can see here i have added this image here and then i'm going to select this and i'm going to add a different image here by default it will come the same thing again click on insert and click on from file so you can see here i've added two different images now what you have to do is let me just select this object first or this shape first first remove this tick mark okay so it becomes straight here and then depending on your requirement you can adjust the the size of the image here on that particular object so you can see here you have got some offset properties so if i just make it left it goes to left if i make it right so that you know i'm just trying to make it in the center so try to make it in the center something like this and then you can go to the format and artistic effects and i'm going to give somewhat blur image so i don't want you know the same image i'm just going to give some blur effect here and again let me just come to this image and again remove this tick mark you can see here and again depending on your requirement you can make it up or down you can see here i'm just going to make it down and then i can just make it left align or right align and left align so you can see here i can just play with this all right so this is the simplest way you can add the images here so have any image of your choice you can add it here now once you have done this basic design it's time to add the text let me just fit to the slide here and then i can just go to insert text i'm going to say like a sports template sport i just type sport or sports or whatever center align make the font as white i'm going to choose the font helvetica or any choice of your font you can just choose it make it bold increase the size you can see here i can just keep it maybe this much and again go to format align center all right and once this is done i'm just going to add one more and i'm going to type template and maybe the font somewhat i'm going to reduce it all right so you can see here i've got i've made it this one again align center and if you want to give some shadow effect you can just go and select some shadow effect also it looks something like this and then if you want any other template or sorry not any other text or a button or something like that let me just insert some button here like learn more i'm going to select the rounded rectangle make it fully curved shape outline no outline and shape fill i'm going to give some maybe uh, orange color and i'm just saying that learn more you can see here let me just reduce the width all right and if you want you can just change the font again to helvetica or any other font of your choice reduce the font size so you can see here uh, this is the design in which you can just add it your own images if you want more detailed text also you can add it so if i want let me just move this somewhat up 
and I want to add more detailed text at the bottom. So I'm just going to say equals LORM within brackets one and then center align white font reduce the size and this also should go at the center or you can just go to format align center you can see here something like this now let's do the last part which is the animation part so let me just close the format background i'm going to the animations enable the animation pane i'm going to select this one you can see hold the shift key i'm just going to select this uh, shapes only and then i'm going to make it fly in all right and then right mouse click go to effect options and you can increase the bounce end and depending on your requirement you can increase or decrease the duration and click ok now what i'm going to do is i'm just going to select this one and the effect option it should come from top all right and this also it should come from top all right and this one i'm going to make it maybe from top right so it comes something like this and then here what happens if i play it comes something like this you know at same time so you can just play with these timings here you can see here i can just make it maybe point three zero sorry let me just make it point three zero all right and maybe this could be point four five like that all right so if i play now it comes something like this you can see here let me just play it again and then for this also i'm going to use the same fly in but fly in instead of coming from top or bottom it should come from left this one and this should come from right all right and this also should be with previous and here i'm going to give a little bit delay all right so if i play now it comes something like this you can see here it looks wonderful and then for this one i can just add animation and i can go to more entrance effect i can select the stretch or any other animation of your choice and this also should happen with previous maybe a delay a little bit and then this one i'm going to make it uh basic zoom okay and this also with previous uh, let me just add a little bit delay there so now you can see here it comes something like this all right so this is the simplest way you can add this sports template look for your presentation